this video, we are going to talk about listening skill activities in primary one, term one. Along with the training pupils' eyes to see the differences in letters like B, P, and D, we also need to develop their listening skills so that they can hear the different sounds like B, P, and D and imitate these sounds accurately. We also want our pupils to be able to hear these same sounds when they occur in a word. For example, a child should be able to tell me which word starts with the B sound. But or part. If I say the word dog, a pupil should be able to tell me it starts with the sound D. We call this second scale segmenting. Ultimately, we want pupils to segment a word into its individual sounds. But to get there, we start with the larger parts of speech, like sentences, and our pupils segment them into words. So to repeat, we have two basic types of listening skills we are developing in P1 Term 1. Number one, the ability to identify and imitate sounds accurately. And two, the ability to segment parts of speech. Now let's take a look at our teachers from our primary school, Jimmy and Semi as they teach some listening skill lessons. See if you can tell which skill they are developing. The ability to identify and imitate sounds or the ability to segment parts of speech. This activity is called environmental sounds. It is taught during the early weeks of term one. That one is another activity we call the environmental sound. It's one of the activities we do during the listening uh, lesson. We collect, as you show, we collect a, a number of uh, objects in the, just available in the school environment, like drums, all of those. Hmm? You put in front of the learners, as I did, you hide them away, you eat one by one, you ask a learner to identify what object makes that sound. <laughs> As a teacher, you can imitate other sounds in the environment 
such as a motorcycle starting up or a cell phone ringing. If learners can't figure out the sound by hearing alone, then mime the activity with your body. When they fail to identify the objects that makes that sound, what, I, what me as a teacher do, I again repeat. If again they fail, that is when I come in. Because I, will, I, will, I shall know that, oh, this object might be new to the learners. That is when I will now come in to explain fully how the objects, where the object is found, what it is used, and all those. Like I had the, piano, the, the, finger, the finger piano in front of them. So to keep them alert in that lesson, I would also ask them to pretend to be playing the piano. And now here is Semi teaching an activity we called animal sounds. You as a teacher, you can say, you can make a sound that an, an animal makes, eh? and you ask them to guess which animal makes that sound. They say it. Then you ask that child, now that you know that that sound is made by a cow, can you also make any sound that is made by any animal or any bird you know? The child makes his fellow, fellow learners tell the animals that made that sound. Next, let's look at Jimmy doing an active storytelling activity. Ini no mora shell. Oti no mora ang kwanak shell ba uni ena. Gino bini ya me wuri kwat. Jong yo kwat. Kwa yo dog jong yo. Gino ta ya ko me wuri kwat. Jo kwa do pa yeta bu. Gino ta ya ta wuri kai kwat te bu. Wuri gini do ke gi me wuri ra kwat te ngo. Te bu. A mami i bung kun nu. Uno ti bang ki. Uno ti bang ki. Ame ong abo malu. Ena ma ong abo malu ni. Ki. Uno da nyoke ye. Yoke na pete te ma kui ta ke wi. Ki uno da nyoke ye. Ama ne ki cha no do ri ka cha miu miu ma ra. Ki cha no. Ki cha no. E ki cha no miu miu ma ra. Ama ne ti no cha. Gi na kono do ngu ne ni ki ti ka no. In past time, as these learners pass arrived in school, we have to actually to show them that a school is a place where you, where you stay with a lot of enjoyment. That's why all, all our activities is, is, is a kind of play. Finally, let's look at Semi doing a sentence segmentation activity. sentence <laughs> Balaka ko bini ana maru chak ana maru chak ke winki ta ana nungo kere ana maru chak ti yenyi ko pa di ati na berti uchi ete ko bu ti yadi ti yadi ngom 
Wandu shuko nuongkang. Ana marucha. Konyana nyana pin. Ana marucha. Semi is introducing the concept of a sentence to our pupils. After that, she says a simple sentence and demonstrates how the sentence is made up of individual words. She shows them how to count each word in the sentence with our fingers. After she has demonstrated several sentences on her own, she asked the pupils to do the counting with her. By the end of this activity, pupils will begin to hear the individual words in simple sentences. Amana mi tati na beran kon ko ba sentener Aha nga to kene Ara mar mat O ko bani nga Ara mar mat Ko no ngwe se ni wel ni ko pa meti sentene no kon Ara mar Ana marumatopi. You have now seen four simple activities that develop pupils listening skills. All four are taught in the beginning of term 1. Let's review the four activities. 1 environmental sounds activity. 2 animal sounds activity. 3 active storytelling activity and for sentence segmentation activity. Remember what Jimmy said about making these activities fun and game-like? That's a very important point. We know that pupils learn best when they are participating in class. And we also know that one of our pupils' favorite ways to participate is through games. Jimmy and Semi tried to make these listening skill activities fun and playful. And you could see the enjoyment the pupils had in participating. Okay, let's review the two listening skills we are developing in term one. They are, one, the ability to identify and imitate sounds accurately. And two, the ability to segment parts of speech. I want you to think about the four activities and you decide which skill they are meant to develop. Remember, it is still early in the term and so we are starting with very simple skills the pupils can master successfully. I will ask your facilitator to pause this video now while you discuss among yourselves. I hope you had a good discussion. Now let me share with you the answers. The ability to identify and Im imitate sounds accurately. Here we have two activities. One is environmental sounds activity and two the animal sounds activity. The second one is the ability to segment parts of speech. And here we look at two things active storytelling activity and sentence segmentation activity. Did your results agree with us? Just in case they didn't, let me give some further explanation. The environmental sound activity and animal sound activity required pupils to identify sounds and with the animal sound activity imitate sounds as well. The active storytelling activity is a very simple segmentation activity because it requires the pupils to listen for one word in their whole story. The sentence segmentation activity takes segmenting one step further. Now pupils are listening to a whole sentence and breaking the sentence down into its individual words. Once pupils have mastered this skill, we can move to smaller parts of speech like breaking words into syllables and syllables into sounds. As I said before, all these activities are designed to be taught during the first six weeks of P1 Term 1. 
Now let's look at some listening skill activities Jimmy and Semi teach during the second half of the term. Again, as you watch the video, think about what skill the teacher is developing. Match. 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 Jimmy is saying three words that begin with the same sound. N notice how he emphasizes the mm sound as he says the words and how he asks the learners to repeat the three words with him. Next, Jimmy asks the learners to tell him how the three words are the same. Then he asks learners to think of other words that start with the same sound. And that activity is actually is very interesting because you ask the teacher, you, you just give only one example. You guide the learner slowly, slowly, so that they also look around and try to find out those similar words with the same initial sound. Here is one final listening skill activity from the second half of the term. Earlier, you saw Semi show her pupils how to segment a sentence into words. Now the teacher is segmenting words into syllables. Don't worry if learners do not gain full competence in segmenting syllables in term 1. They will continue to develop this competence in terms 2 and 3.
to let the learners understand best and identify the syllables in the word. We have very many ways of doing that. First of all, as I said, you can count using the fingers, or you can clap, or you can put your hands here. And you count on how many times these things lower down like that. Ma catch like that. Just like with the visual skills, listening skills are taught every Tuesday and Thursday during pre-reading, pre-writing time. The listening skill activity should only take about 10 minutes of your 30-minute lesson. Now, let's review the, the main points of this video. Just like pupils need to develop their eyes, so that they can read individual words and letters, pupils need to also develop their ears to hear individual words, syllables, and sounds. We focus on two main types of listening skill activities in term one, during pre-reading, pre-writing time. The ability to identify and Im imitate sounds accurately, and the ability to segment parts of speech. We start with the very simple activities in the first six weeks that people can easily master and gradually build to more difficult listening skill activities. Listening skill activities should last about 10 minutes. The activities should be fun and participatory. Structure the activity like a game and you will have your pupils full attention. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good lesson.